Welcome to Ask an Artist with Jen Souders. Mon Gallery stands for Middle of Nowhere because that's where I live. And it's also French for mine, so it's mine. <laughs> I'm inspired by the nature and my surroundings, and you'll see it in my artwork. So I thought it was perfect to just remain where I'm most inspired. Here is my gallery and studio area that I recorded last Christmas time. We'll kind of give you an idea of uh, where I work and what I'm surrounded by. I have art pieces there that are coming in and out of shows and also being sold. So it's never the same, but hopefully this gives you an idea. So what do I wear? Um, I'm Jen from State Farm. Khakis. So, what do I wear when I paint? Well, today I am working on an oil painting. And because of that, um, I have this lovely grandma looking smock. Uh, and I have my favorite ripped jeans because I attach with clips my painting rags because I find that every time I get up my painting rags fall on the floor and that's after I've already you know pushed myself all in and then I have to pull myself out and pick it up off the floor this way it's attached to me so I can sit here as long as possible okay this is fun I think this was like my seventh grade year or eighth grade year I don't know who the model is but uh, that'll give you an idea this one I know who the model was this is Tim Neubauer pencil drawing and this is Brian Dinglestad And then here is a pencil drawing I did. I'm not sure what year, but all high school. Well, I can't pick just one. I kind of, I guess like fall colors. I love copper. So yeah, it's kind of shiny, but Think about that fall color ring. Well, okay. Um, if you're a mom out there, which one of your kids is favorite? <laughs> That's kind of not fair. I like uh, multiple things. Um, I like oil paint. I like watercolor. I've done work in acoustic before, which is uh, wax that melts at a higher temperature and um, I like I like hands-on stuff it's it's difficult for me because just anything creative I like to do <laughs> so any means to get there is just how I roll okay I'll give you an example from what happened. I, I have my studio and gallery space open on Mondays and I'll give you an example of some of the things that I did on Monday. Um, I uploaded uh, some landscapes on uh, a website uh, for an open call. Um, and an open call, that's where you, you're just kind of like in a competition with other artists. Um, sometimes they're free, a lot of times they're not, which kind of stinks because 
we're already trying to sell in our sell our artwork um, but at the same time we're trying to get a name for ourselves so it's like there's some investment and you just hope sometimes it'll pay off and actually I did get a uh, honorable mention in uh, one of the open calls recently so that was nice um, I sent out a thank you note to someone that um, referred me for an upcoming show I sent a press release um, press releases are also this is one of those things that you have to do all the time um, updated my website um, updated my resume um, newspaper called and I gave an interview um, and also uploading artwork online for online sales sites so that's just some of the other things that I do um, I also have multiple books um, this one's all for this year of sales of um, different uh, open calls because I have to know where my artwork is at at all times and what I entered in a show one year sometimes you can enter a show with artwork that's up to four years old or maybe up to three years old but you got enough you've entered it before because after a while if you're doing it a bunch you don't know if you did or not so this is like a, a little ledger that helps me know and then I have uh, I have one that's got my mileage in it uh, you know because I'm traveling to drop off artwork at shows and whatnot so there's that and then this here is when I'm starting a piece and I have artwork um, I title it the size how long I spent on it extra things I spent money on it's just I have to document everything so that's just an example there's a lot more of stuff that is more than just pretty pictures with doing artwork my most annoying distraction well when I'm working um, I guess it's when I get myself all situated generally uh, when I'm in this corner and I've, I've got an easel or I've got um, places to put a pallet and everything I'm all hedged in I, it's like a fort and so what's really annoying is having to go to the bathroom because I have to move everything all over and I usually wait till the last minute so I'm in a dead sprint <laughs> Not enough of that <laughs> my favorite artist is John Singer Sargent but I don't paint like him I just admire him Yes. Thank you for joining me for Ask an Artist with Jennifer Souders. Please like and share.